Hey everybody and welcome to the video. This is Josh here and today we're going to be taking a look at what's in my tech bag. For those of you that might not be aware, I live in Portland, Oregon and I've been car free for about four years now. And in addition to YouTube, I'm a freelance videographer and photographer so my work is constantly changing locations so I have to be ready to go at a moment's notice. This year I'm using the Air Tech Pack 2. It's the follow up to my all time favorite tech bag, the Tech Pack one. They've made a few fine-tuned adjustments this year that I've been really happy with. I'll be sure to link the full review down below. Starting off with the back compartment, we have my workhorse computer. This is the 2018 MacBook Pro. I've had it for over two years now and is still going strong. I would love to upgrade at some point, but I think I can still get a few more years out of this. As we're getting into this, you'll see that I don't have a ton of upgrades or changes from the previous year. I feel like I really have everything dialed in. In the main compartment, I keep my field notes notebook. It's a grid notebook. This doesn't see a ton of frequent use, but it is invaluable when I need it. I'm often using my phone as a secondary wireless monitor, or I'm in client meetings where I don't want to look rude by typing on my computer or my phone. To pair with the notebook, I have the Uniball Jet Stream 1.0. It's the left-hander's dream pen. I've talked about this thing before. It's quick drying while still maintaining that inky look. And this is my wallet. It's made by Shinola. I've had it for about five years now, still in excellent condition. The patina on the leather continues to improve with age. I'm looking forward to seeing what the decades to come look like. Next I have my dongle. This is the Hyperdrive USB-C dongle. It has all of the different ports I need with the HDMI port, the SD and mini SD card slots along with USB-A and USB-C ports. This is an invaluable part of my workflow during this awkward transition into USB-C. My battery of choice remains to be the Anchor PowerCore Slim. It's a 10,000 milliamp battery, still one of the best rated capacities per weight. I use this for backpacking and camping as well as my city travel. From there I have my Kindle Paperwhite. This is still the first generation, still going strong, still working perfectly for my needs. Lately I've been reading a ton of books about bartending and making cocktails. It's been my newfound indoor hobby through 2020. I'm not carrying too many cables on a daily basis with me as batteries continue to improve, but I do still carry a lightning cable to charge my phone and headphones along with my MacBook Pro charger. If I don't want to use my power bank to charge my phone or headphones, I can actually plug the lightning cable directly into my MacBook Pro brick. I've shifted things around a bit. In my water bottle holder, I have some quick access hygiene items. I keep my mask. This was from Settlemeyers, a local company here in Portland, Oregon. Really great deal. It was two masks for about 10 bucks. They've held up really well for me in solid black, just like I like. Along with that, I have a little bottle of hand sanitizer that I refill from a bulk bottle I picked up earlier in the year. From there we have my 32 ounce hydro flask. This thing is incredible and will last me many years to come. I never like leaving the house without knowing I have something to drink with me. Still a member of the hydro homies over on Reddit. And uh, speaking of water, we have my rain jacket. This is the Marmot Precip. It actually folds up into its own pocket into this nice small container. This doesn't come out with me very often during the summer months, but in Portland you need it for most of the year. I also always keep a reusable bag with me. This was just a thrifted canvas bag. I never know when I'm walking on foot if I'm going to have to run to the grocery store or if I have any sort of overflow items from my outing. Lately I've been bringing my camera out with me just to capture some of the unique things that have been happening here in 2020. The camera cube I'm using is brand new. It's from Moments New Travel Wear Collection. I would highly recommend it. I'll be sure to leave a link if you'd like to check it out. It's a little bit of a sturdier shell to protect your items a little bit further. Inside of the cube I keep a couple of lenses along with my camera. My two favorite photography lenses are the Zeiss Battis 1.885 and the F2 40mm. Both excellent and I would highly recommend them. I also keep a waterproof camera housing in case of a sudden downpour if I'm out taking photos. This is really great for nature and hiking photography along with a few photo gigs I've had with some sudden rain for outdoor shoots. I also always keep a few business cards with me. You never know who you're going to run into so I like to have those on hand to pass out if and when they're needed. 
One of the unique parts of this camera cube is you have little filter inserts in the dividers. I keep a couple of filters with me. One is a quarter black promist filter along with a Tiffin variable ND filter. In the top quick access sunglass pocket, I keep a few different items. This is just a handkerchief. As someone that suffers from allergies, I love having this. Saves on, you know, wasteful tissues and all of that sort of thing, and it's much more pleasant on your nose. I also keep my AirPods with me. I've had these for, I think, about three years now. Still going strong, still working perfectly. No uh, degradation in the battery or anything like you hear from a lot of folks. I also always keep a microfiber cloth with me for for my glasses and electronics. Very handy if I have a dirty screen going into a client meeting for my laptop, but mainly just to keep my glasses nice and clean. That is gonna be it for the bag though. Really nice, simple carry. Only the items that I use and need on a regular basis. I hope you all enjoyed this one and I would love to hear what your current setup is, what your favorite bag is, any items that you would highly recommend for me. I'd love to hear that down below in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching and for your support. I'll talk to you in the next one.